Jensen. My god, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man, I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? You're right. What's the deal? Okay. So the machinery's not just for show. I'm undercover, keeping tabs on the derelict row ballers for now. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear, he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant, even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger-painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. Hmm. Very dirty Harry of you, Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. We've worked hard to catch this son of a bitch. I don't want him to walk on a technicality. What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, You'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not gonna turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything.
Someone's gonna pay! You're dead, Cutter!
Get that shit out my face before I shove it up your ass. Yes. May I help you? Actually, I've been told by a mutual acquaintance that it might be the other way around. Were you followed? I'm a professional. I know how things work. So if we can just skip Cloak and Dagger 101. Well, you certainly look the part. Now let's see how well you can play it. So what is it you need? Straight to business. A rare quality these days. Tell me, are you familiar with local gangs? More than enough to get by. Perfect. Now I warn you, this is not the cleanest of work, but your efforts will be well compensated. An associate of mine will leave a package for you in an alley on Grand River Road. You will retrieve this package and then use it to deal with a problem of mine. Permanently. Who's the target? Someone who won't be missed, I assure you. A ganger that goes by the name Double T. 
hangs around in an apartment near Earl's Court. It's not likely that he'll be alone, just as it's not likely the people keeping him company will be of the pleasant sort. You can't miss him. He's got prominent and rather tasteless augmentations to his face and arms. You're telling me you went through all this trouble to hire me just so I can eliminate a banger? That would be a tad overkill, I admit. No, eliminating the target with the weapon provided to you is only the first part of your assignment. Once you've dealt with Double T, I need you to sneak into derelict row and plant the murder weapon among the baller's weapon staff. Unnoticed. Kill a member of the Motor City Bangers, then plant the murder weapon in the rival gang's weapon stash. You're trying to start a war. Hopefully. You don't sound like a cop. You, on the other hand, are starting to sound exactly like one. I strongly suggest you simply get on with the program. So what is it I'm picking up and where is it exactly? There's a rather luxurious apartment complex on Grand River Road. In front of it, on the other side of the street, you'll see a door that leads to a maintenance corridor. In the first corner of that corridor, you will find a crossbow hidden amongst the trash and debris. Use it to kill Double T. I guess that's it for now. I got a right to live my life as I choose. In this little corner of the universe here. Don't look away, man.
Access granted. Access granted.
D-Row cats is gonna get popped if they keep trying to tag over my shit. Oh yeah? How so? Got me a Hurricane TMP-18 from Surat. That's sick shit, man. I didn't know Surat carried those. Keep out of this! Uh. Did you get everything? We have to get that son of a bitch, Jensen. I think I have everything. Excellent, Jensen. I knew I could trust you. 
My guys got their hands on Double T, and you identified the shipment. Apparently you weren't so subtle with the last part, but hey, at least the job is done. What else you got? I think O'Malley's plan was to start a controlled gang war between the derelict row ballers and the Motor City Bangers. You might want to check into that. Really? All right, I'll keep that in mind when I review all the evidence. I paid a little B&E visit to O'Malley's apartment. There was a second shipment of weapons, government issue. I don't know how he got his hands on that type of hardware, but the man's got reach. Great work. Found something else? I found a stash of illegal drugs. Not much, but enough to get him convicted. Good. The more dirt we dig up on that asshole, the better our chances to put him away for good. Got anything else? No, that about covers it. O'Malley never mentioned any weapon. He just wanted the witness dead. Just wanted the witness dead, huh? All right. Well, I've got enough evidence against O'Malley anyway. Let's just hope it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Right, Jensen? Well, that's it. You did a great job. Here's the stuff I promised you. We've got more than enough to nail him now, and I want to make a move before that son of a bitch gets wise. But I ain't got no backup, and I doubt he'll go down peacefully. You've already done the bulk of the job. You want to put the finishing touches on yourself? It'll be my pleasure. Perfect. My contact tells me O'Malley's gone back to his apartment. Go get him. I'll be waiting for you in the alley near the building once you've taken care of that scumbag. Mr. Jensen. Don't know why I didn't recognize you the first time. Here to make sure your treachery is complete? I don't have time to waste with your bullshit. You're a lying, murdering, manipulative son of a bitch. And I'm here to take you down. So be it. Who's there? So? What happened? I think we'll skip the trial for this one. Son of a bitch made a mistake of pulling a gun on me. Shit, Jensen. This is gonna make my job a whole lot more difficult. I mean, we got enough evidence to convict him, but now I have to come up with a nice story for all this mess. Well, 
I'm sure you did what you had to do. Anyway, I gotta get back on this thing. Good luck with whatever you're working on these days. <laughs>